Okay, so uh, good morning everyone. I bring you a tutorial today uh, in physics, which happens to be physics 101. And to those of you that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe and you'll be able to learn something. Okay, so the question is simply saying, a person travels by car from one city to another with different constant speeds between pairs among cities she drives for 30 minutes at 80 km per hour, 12 minutes at, at 100 km per hour, and 45 minutes at 40 km per hour, and spends 15 minutes eating lunch and buying gas. Now they are saying that we determine the average speed for the trip. Uh, 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 then B saying we determine the distance between the initial and final cities along the root so now the best way to solve this question is simply to come up with a diagram but i won't be able to draw the diagram instead i'm going to show you another simple uh, uh, way of finding this question which you happen to grasp and hope you'll be able to learn something hope you'll be able to learn something so the best way now to do it to do it is to come up with the data okay so say data Like this. Now, uh, we have been told that we have been told that she drives for 30 minutes at 80 km per hour. So the first thing we are going to convert this time one into hours, like this. We are going to convert it into hours. So we know that we know that we know that. Uh, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, divide by, okay, 30 divide by 60 is going to be 0 0.5. So we are going to have a 0 0.5 hours as our time one. Then we are going to have time two. Now our time two was 12 minutes. So we are going to say 12 divide by 60 and it's going to be 0 0.2 hours okay our time 3 we have been told that our time 3 was simply uh, um, 45 minutes so we are going to say 45 divided by 60 and that is a 0 0.75 hours like this okay okay so this is how you go about these questions very simple then we have been taught that, okay, sorry about that. Then we have been taught that, we have been taught that uh, this person spends 15 minutes eating lunch and buying gas. So we are, go we are, we are going to convert that 15 minutes, so say 15 divided by 60 it's going to be a zero point. Okay, so this is time three, then this is going to be time four, and it's going to be a zero point two five, like this. Okay, hours. Hope you are learning something. Don't worry about my camera. We will improve next time. Okay, so what's the question? Now, it's saying that we determine the average speed for the trip. But maybe even before we go that, we can also consider that we do have velocity one. Velocity one happens to be 80 kilometer per hour. Velocity two happens to be 100 kilometer per hour. Velocity three happens to be we have been told that this is supposed to be 40 kilometer per hour, like that, okay? Now, we know that if the diagram was to be drawn, then automatically the diagram would have been like this, okay? Where we acknowledge that this was going to be the time in hours, 
and this was going to be the speed in kilometer sorry this was going to be the the distance rather the distance we can name, we can name it as d the distance okay okay this is a distance time graph a distance in kilometers now we know that whatever we do we do multiply here with this side then automatically we find the speed right okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to find the distance that it took uh, uh, for this particular uh, 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 person to move uh, along the entire route because for you to find B automatically you've already found A. Now A is a very simple question and you will see what we mean. Okay? You will see what we mean. So the first thing that we are going to do is this. I am going to multiply this particular speed with its time. So I'm going to say that I'm going to say that average speed The average speed is going to equal to, okay, the average speed is going to equal to, then I'm going to say that 80 is going to multiply each time, which was 0 0.5, plus uh, 100 is also going to multiply each time, which happens to be, 0 0.2 like this plus then um, where are we uh, 45 40 kilometers is also going to multiply each time which happens to be 0 0.75 like this okay so if we do the multiplication, we say 80 multiplied by 0 0.5, it's going to be a 40, 40, okay, 40 kilometers, plus 100, 100, multiplied by 0 0.2, this is going to be, uh, a 20 kilometers plus then we say 40 40 multiplied by 0 0.75 we have a 30 good kilometers now if we add everything we say 30 plus 20 plus 40 we are going to find a 90.0 kilometers. Now, you've already found B or automatically. This is how interesting this formula is. Okay, you've already found B. You've already found B automatically. And your B is simply the total distance from initial to its final cities. So, by using this formula, you've already found b okay but then we want to find the first question imagine you're using a formula we've already found b but you want to find the first question now the the, the first question is saying we determine the average speed but then we know that the average speed is going to equal to v equal to the change in x over the time like this true then we say v equal to 90.0 kilometer over what was the time now we are going to add up all the times so we're going to say this is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 
plus 0 0.25. Okay, like that. Don't worry about the camera. I'm the one who is holding the camera. So, <laughs> we hope to improve next time. But I hope you will be able to learn something. It's the information that you want. Okay, so the average speed is equal to, so it's going to be 90.0 kilometer per hour over what was the total time? The total time, the total time was 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25. Then it's going to be, uh, what's this? this is 1.7. 1.7, okay. So 90 divided by 1.7, we are going to get a 53.0 kilometer per hour. So now, this is how you find the first question, okay? This is how you find the first question. That's the average speed. Therefore, we can say that the average speed is 53.0 km per hour. This is how simple it is. So you have found A, but then for B, they are saying we determine the distance between the initial and the final cities along the route. We have already found the distance. In that distance is this one. So we can simply say B distance from uh, initial city to final city is 90 kilometers. So this is how you find this question the easy way. Thank you so much.